Hi crafty friends, welcome to today's video. I'm going to create today a clean and simple ish card for you using this butterfly net die. This die cuts out this net shape here and the wings of each butterfly lift up like that so you can peek underneath. So my idea is to take this four by six inch card blank with a panel of white cardstock already stuck on the front, add my butterfly net in the middle there somewhere, but have some color just behind the wings so that when you look at it from various angles, you can see some lovely color there. What I'm gonna do before I get started is lift up all the wings on the butterflies without overly creasing the paper. I still want it to look neat and elegant. So I've got a piece of smooth white cardstock here that's big enough to die cut this from. And I'm gonna pop it on my grip mat. Just to note, this is a new grip mat that I bought the other day. A lot of people ask me about my normal grip mat, which is from Waffle Flower. It's the largest size, but it's quite hard to get hold of in the UK. And I believe Waffle Flower have now stopped making the big size because of manufacturing issues. So I had a rummage around on Amazon and I found some photopolymer grip mats that were very inexpensive, really. So I'm trying it out. And if it performs as well as the waffle flower grip mat I'll let you know so that if you're in the UK you can get your hands on one of these. I'm going to use Distress Oxide to colour this piece of card. I've got Broken China, Shaded Lilac and Stormy Sky which are that's a bluey green, that's a lilac-y colour and we've got a uh, pale indigo I think there. So we've got three and I want to create a graduated blend down this panel. So I'm gonna draw roughly around this. And I've done this because when I blend, I want to be able to create kind of three bands and make sure that when I die cut, I get all, all the bands covered. But I'm gonna lighten that slightly because it's too dark. So this is just a putty rubber. You mould it and roll it and it slowly lifts the pencil marks until they're the desired lightness. I'll start with Broken China and have that coming in from the top. And then I think we'll have a bit of shaded lilac in the middle. Bring the broken china back in to get a nice smooth blend. And now for some stormy sky. I'll just finish off with some shaded lilac to blend everything together. Maybe a little bit more broken china up here. Before I die cut it, I'm going to spatter on some metallic white watercolour. This is my Prima Metallic Accents Hybrid Palette, which has paints from the original palette and the pastel palette. And I'm going to spatter that on. So hopefully we'll get some nice spatters in the bits that we die cut from this. Now I'm going to dry that with my hairdryer. So there we go, I'm very happy with that. And now I can die cut from that. So there we have our colourful butterflies and we can bring in our white butterflies and glue that on top like that. And then it's a bit fiddly to, to do it without the gluing bit. But when you tilt from side to side, you'll be able to see the colour behind the butterflies. To add glue to the back of this, I'm thinking I will spread out some of my high tack PVA glue on my mat like that. Pop this net with the wings lifted in it. Take two pairs of tweezers, one to press it down and hold it still. Uh, 
and one to push the frames down into the glue. Feel free to leave a comment if you can think of a better way of doing this. All right, I think most of that is sticky. So I'm gonna layer this on top of here. I can give that a good press down, protecting it with deli paper because the butterfly wings shouldn't have any glue on them. They should just lift right back up again. But I'm not going to do that until I've added this to my card frame. I've got some more glue there. This should be easy enough to press down. that on there. So this is quite dimensional. It's got some lovely depth because of having two layers of die cuts. So there we go. Hope you can see that when you turn it you can see all that background behind the butterflies. For the sentiment I've got this cursive font just a note stamp. I'm going to pop it on here in black ink. Yep, that's fine. And I'm going to use this stitched edge banner die to cut it out. It's obviously too long, so I've just shuffled the die along. And I'm going to run that back through and just cut the very tip. So now I've got a little banner that can go right there and I'm going to pop it over this butterfly because it will nestle nicely here. And I'm going to cut some foam tape or foam strips and add a couple to the back to give it a bit of dimension. So I'm really happy with that, but I think the butterflies' bodies are a bit kind of plain and they need something there. So I've got Morning Dew Nouveau Drops and I'm just going to put one dot on the central part of the body. You could add gems, enamel dots, you could add colour Nouveau Drops, oops, metallic ones, that didn't go very well. Take that off, start again. Glittery drops might look quite nice too. Yes, I'm happy with that. So there we go. I think it is clean and simple, even though there's not an awful lot of white space. There is some. You could put it on a bigger card if you wanted more white space. But it's got a flash of colour and a flash of sparkle and shine when you tilt it like that. And it's got lots of lovely dimension. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you an idea of something that you could do with maybe a similar die that you have. I think I've got some butterfly dies in my stash that I could use to get this kind of look, the lifted up wing kind of look. So I'll put my thinking cap on, have a rummage through my dies and uh, if I come up with anything I will uh, create another video in which I show you how you can get this kind of look. Right, I think that'll do from me today. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.